It was a car full of people, six in all, at least five teenagers that police say opened fire on undercover police officers in an unmarked car late last night, hitting one officer in the hip. When police caught up with them, two teenagers were arrested, three others later released. Police trying to find the sixth person who got away. Fox 4 Sean Rabb, outside Dallas Police Headquarters, Sean. Yeah, and in just a very, very short time, undercover officers in a plain vehicle, unmarked vehicle, went from following a car to taking gunfire. When I come out and stood on my patio, all you could see was police cars coming, and it was a ton of them. This woman, who asked we not show her face or use her name, describes the scene in the 7200 block of Chesterfield early Thursday morning. There was a car in the entrance of the apartment complex. Yes, ma'am. And that car was that blue Camaro, and it was just sitting there, but you could see where they had bailed out. Six people were in the car where a gun fired into a car carrying police officers working covert, almost seven miles from where the drama came to a close. Police officers are out every night in undercover vehicles looking for suspicious or criminal activity. When the police officer spotted this car driving in some kind of way that got their attention right here at Easter and Deer Path, and they begin to follow that car. And at one point, a suspect in the vehicle fired at officers in the unmarked vehicle, going through the driver's side door and striking one of our officers in the hip. Air One and officers pursued the vehicle eventually taking five suspects into custody. It was a young lady and a guy that they arrested. 17-year-old Jahart Nickelberry was charged with aggravated assault, evading arrest in a motor vehicle, aggravated robbery, and theft. A 15-year-old girl also arrested, charged with evading arrest or detention. Three other teenagers were released without being charged. Two of them went to a hospital for observation. Police are looking for a sixth person who ran from that car. The officer, not yet identified, has gone through a couple of surgeries at Methodist Medical Center. In one second, you can find yourself fighting for your life. Uh, when we put that badge and that vest on every morning and go to work, or at night and go to work, you never know. And this officer, you know, found himself in that situation. We're blessed that he's here with us. And uh, it's just a reminder to the public how dangerous uh, our job can be in a matter of seconds. So now that officer is going to be on the long and slow road of recovery, but he will, in fact, recover. The chief, Eddie Garcia, is going to walk through this shooting incident Monday with the media. They're still looking for this sixth person. Uh, the car that they were in, these five teens, uh, it was also stolen.